All right, we're gonna dive right into a tutorial on how to configure your Black Widow V2 IR adapter. Now, really what you need to know is the IR adapter is nothing more than a local Wi-Fi IP camera. You create a Wi-Fi network, you connect to it, and then you have a live feed of that video. Now, in theory, you can connect to it on any kind of viewing client, but you do need a viewing client. And the viewing client we recommend for your phone is called V380. It is completely free. Pull it up right here. Go ahead and download that. When you have it downloaded, go ahead and open it. Don't worry, you don't need to create any kind of account. Click local on the bottom. And then you're gonna click add manually. Now put that down for a minute and why don't we go ahead and power on your IR adapter. In order to do that, you're going to want to plug it into the battery. After you plug it in, it'll automatically turn on. And don't be alarmed, it will talk to you. Give it about a full minute to boot up and then you'll be ready to go. Why don't we go ahead and wait for that. Okay, when you hear that part, you know you're ready to go. Your Wi-Fi network is up and running and you can go ahead and connect to that right now. We're gonna briefly tab out of that viewing client, come to Wi-Fi, turn it on. The Wi-Fi network will be named MV followed by the ID and here we are looking at it right here. All right, give that a moment to connect. Go back to our viewing client. And now what you can do, you can either manually enter the ID and that ID will be printed right back here on that label, or you can pop in the QR code and it'll automatically input it. There we go. And what we're gonna do is we're going to click add. Give that one minute to connect. And then go ahead and hit the play button to connect to it. Now you're gonna be prompted to configure a password. Go ahead and make one. I'm gonna make a random one. Given that we're viewing it locally, I don't think you have to worry about it being too protective. But configure that, done. Hit the play button again and you are good to go. You're gonna have a live feed of that camera. And what you can do is number one, you don't even have to hook it up to your Black Widow V2. You can pick it up, aim it around like that, okay? Right, and if you want, you can aim the uh, IR illuminator, and then you have full low light performance even without the monocular. But ideally, you wanna hook it up to your monocular via the adapter and mounting bracket, and you are ready to go.